Today is a full day packed with activities, so let's go. checking in it's currently 8 30 so i did about 40 minutes ish of cardio it's really nice in the morning and i'm actually gonna start getting up even earlier to run because as i was coming back it started to get a little hot so i think i'm gonna get up even earlier to beat the school crowds as well i did my usual lap around the neighborhood and honestly i forgot how peaceful it is in the morning and with the cool breeze it's really really nice also i probably should have eaten something light before i left the house because I started to get a little dizzy and it's only happened one other time when I ran on an empty stomach. Almost completely blacked out, good thing my brother was there, but I probably just needed some sugar honestly. And next time I think I'm just gonna chew on some granola or something before leaving the house because that was a pretty scary experience. This time I'm alone in a quiet ass neighborhood so it's even scarier. got out of the shower and I didn't wash my hair because I'm actually going to get a haircut. It's been really long overdue. Let me just show you guys how long it's gotten. This is the current length we're working with. Like it's about down to my butt crack right now. It actually opens at 9 30 and I'm trying to be the first one there because I do have some appointments afterwards so we're kind of on a time crunch. Makeup is gonna be super super light starting with sunscreen first. And then for the nose I like to go in with my fingertips. Then I just kind of like to rub everything in. And then of course don't forget the neck. Now I'm going to go in with my lash curler. This one is from Shiseido. I do have a lash perm, but some of the lashes are starting to lose its curl. It's been about like over a month now. So I like to go in to just get the rest of the lashes. And then I'm going in with my favorite waterproof mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High. And we're going to do like one thin coat. You see what I mean? There are certain lashes that are like just not curling. So I think I'm gonna have to touch up my lash perm in a couple days. Okay, after the mascara is dried, I'm gonna go back into my lash curler and I just get those last few lashes. Now that I look crazy, we're gonna brush through the lashes. Now because I'm a little bit extra, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. This is the Ilia Multi Stick. I'm taking it very lightly onto a brush and then kind of like just stipple it in. Add some color back to my face. And voila! So this is the fit. I have on a mini dress and I look stupid right now because I am going to the beach right after the hair appointment. Hey guys, so I just came back from the hair appointment and my hair is so short. I usually ask for a slight tapered cut so it's kind of like a V in the back. I also asked for some long layers and some face framing pieces. I am obsessed. My head feels so so light and I'm so ready for summer. Okay, a minor outfit change. I switched my bikini to this yellow one. You guys probably have seen it on my Instagram already and if you're not following, what are you doing? I switched it because the bottoms of the pink ones were just way too big. There was just a lot of extra fabric and it was making my butt look saggy. So I switched into this yellow one. 
We just got to Coney Island. It's a girls' day. I have all of my cousins here, and it's just gonna be a chill day. It's really nice. It's not too hot, so we have some snackies that we're gonna nibble on, and then we're just gonna chill here for the rest of the day. Three hours later. Hey guys, just came back from the beach. I did a quick shower, but I have dinner in 30 minutes, so let's get ready. So here's the makeup. It's giving a sun-kissed. It's giving a glowy. Loki also matches how my shoulder is looking right now. Crazy. drinks i got a white peach juice and that is a yuzu cucumber i think it's matcha it's a matcha <laughs> edible like you eat it with chopsticks <laughs> wish that it was a spicy drink but they don't do sparkling here so her food just came it's a little diy moment so you could do a ham roll with the nori and rice or just the sushi on its own also comes with a bunch of sauces and salts <laughs> Which one are you gonna go for next? I wanna know what this one is. Because it has a cat on it. So I'm like, what is that? It's a lucky cat. No, it's one big glass. I did soy sauce on the rice. This is mine. We should try this one. And it's like really smoky. How's it going? Same texture as tuna, but it was a little chewier than tuna. Look, now we're almost the rice. I gripped onto mine so hard that like it became hard. <laughs> I was holding on for dear life. <laughs> the texture of the fish, I don't know. I bit into it and I didn't like it and she passed me my drink. <laughs> Loki tastes like a, like a hard scallop. I can see that. But the second I bit into the fish, I was like the texture is hard. That's why I don't like salmon, it's a texture. Should we even mix it? What should go on it though? Like it's so delicate, I'm scared. I think I'm just gonna do it. There's something on top. Those are very florally. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a big one. I love that touch ball. Right? Ever since we went to um, a ham roll place, I had the eel. I had a bone stuck in me. I was pricked by a bone, and then my entire right side was in flames for a week. My gums were in flames. I thought it was my wisdom tooth at one point. I'm not get the eel. <laughs> my last one is an eel. Oh my god. No, please don't tell me about the bone. No, I swear I felt it. I'm not kidding. 
I'm scared, man. I think I asked for like a whole thing of um, antibiotics. So he prescribed me for like, what is it? 42 in there? Three a day, 14 days, two weeks. Beasted. Our dessert came, listen, this is homemade gelato and homemade mochi. <laughs> oh. I think you're right. Delicious. The mochi is warm. Because it's fresh. That's really good. No wonder it took so long. They were like in the back. No wonder that guy came out sweating. Coming <laughs> <laughs> our mochi. Mm, that's really good. That was really stressful. I don't know if I want to enter the, the field. It's not for evil or evil like walk over. Me. I think it's a personality at this point. It's like a balance between not being angry and like you having some sort of connection. That's the thing, like I don't think I am a person. Not even a people pleaser. I don't think I'm a people pleaser. I'm like with Perez on that block. Holy shit, I've never seen you block anybody in your life. Yeah, that's true. Hey guys, just came back from dinner and now it is time to dye my hair. I'm gonna go into the same hair dye. This is the Adore in 106 Mahogany. And as always, I'm gonna mix it in with some conditioner. We're just gonna do a couple pumps. Then I'm just gonna pour it directly in. And now we're gonna mix mix. I'm going to brush my hair first to just like really get the knots out. Then I'm going to section off the hair into like two layers, top and bottom. Now here comes the fun part. We are just going to go directly into the hair with a little brush. So the hair is fully saturated now. I'm going to sit in this for about 30 minutes or so before washing it out and I'll see you then. This is the before and my hair color is looking quite dull. And here is the after. My hair is looking a deep, rich, chocolatey brown. It's time for bed, but I'm going to go in with my daily skincare routine. Skincare is done and I'm officially ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.